Today, we are going to simulate dark matter detection using this apparatus and a video game. And Scott is going to tell us how it works. So first things first, let's define what we're actually talking about here. So what is dark matter? Well, dark matter is 27% of all matter in the universe, but it's matter that we haven't actually properly detected. Uh, and we do know it exists because we've seen it interact gravitationally, but we need more sensitive experiments if we're ever going to properly analyze it. Now, there's a number of ways in which dark matter could potentially interact with experiments. And there are a number of proposed candidates for dark matter particles, one of which is the axion. And it's thought that the axion can decay into photons under the right conditions. And it's the detection of one of those photons which we're going to simulate today using a faxion. So, Scott, what is a faxion? So, a faxion is a fake axion. It's a man-made signal that replicates the behaviour of those photons. And we use them for calibrating the sensitivity of experiments like this one. Super cool. So, let's have a look at how this experiment works. In the real experiment, the decay of an axion into two photons produces the signal, while we use a generated radio frequency wave as our faxion. When you put radio waves into a cavity such as this one, they form standing waves at the resonant frequency of the cavity, and this depends on the cavity's size. By using a tuning rod, we can change this size, allowing us to change the resonant frequency until we can detect the faxion signal. The cavity is made of aluminium, which reflects electromagnetic waves. Inside of the cavity, there is an aluminium bar, the position of which can be varied. This changes the size of the cavity, which in turn varies the resonant frequency of standing waves. Using this antenna, we can emit the faxion signal into the cavity. We then tune the cavity's frequency to match the faxion, which results in a resonance. The resonance can then be detected by a second antenna, which is connected to a spectrum analyzer. And throughout the entire experiment, we use a third antenna to monitor the resonant frequency of the cavity. We use a vector network analyzer to measure the resonant frequency of the cavity in time. This appears as a peak in our frequency sweeps. As we tune the cavity, we can see this peak shift. The radio frequency generator produces our faxion signal while the detection is done by our spectrum analyzer, which measures the transmitted power from the cavity across a range of frequencies. Great. All right, we promised you a game at the start of this video, and we're not going to disappoint. That is how we're going to do the axion detection. So I'm going to play the role of the experimenter trying to detect the axion. So Scott, tell me what to do. Well, our game's going to generate a random frequency for our faxion, and then you're going to try your best to detect it against the clock. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm putting my name into the game, and then once we're ready, I'm going to click start. All right, so we can see the blue peak there, that's from the vector network analyzer and that's the resonant frequency of the cavity and I'm looking for a corresponding peak in the spectrum analyzer signal which is the yellow one and you can see there that I've found what looks like a peak so I'm trying to maximize the amplitude of that peak so that I understand where my faxion is located so there we are there that's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good uh, that goes beyond it so let's take it back okay that's looking quite nice. So I'm going to guess my faxion is there. Make a guess. Okay, how did I do? I found a faxion. Nice. So I am just under halfway down the leaderboard. Not bad. Let's see how I did in frequency error. Oh, look at that. 
Well, I may have taken my time, but I, I, I was accurate. I was accurate. There you go. So you've done really well, but I think it's time you try hard mode. See if you can put your metal to the test. What's hard mode? You'll find out. <laughs> right, we're going in hard mode. I've no idea what hard mode is. Okay, hard mode. Okay, let's go for it. Right, uh, okay. Let's see what we're doing. Oh, you've only got 45 seconds now before your funding runs out. Seconds, what's going on? There's no faxi on. I can't find a faxi on. Uh, wait a minute. Whoa! What is going on? I've lost my glasses. What? I don't know, right, I don't know what that was. My instrument's broken. Hang on, there's something there. That was a faxi on. Is that a faxi on? Right, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna have to guess, I'm gonna have to guess, I'm gonna have to guess. 10 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot what to do. What's going on? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh. Okay, I'm just guessing. I've no idea what's going on. Dude, dude, that is hard. I found it though, I found the faxi on. Uh, right, how are we doing hard mode? Not bad. Halfway down the table. Mm. That was pretty difficult. No one expected lightning and cats. <laughs> Frequency error. Oh, look, second only to my own non hard mode. Professional. Pretty good, pretty good. We hope you found that interesting and a bit of fun. Now, if you want to play that game yourself and see this apparatus in real life, it's actually available to the public for a short time following the release of this video. That's right, we're going to be at the Royal Society building in London from the 2nd to the 7th of July for the Royal Society's Summer of Science. It's going to be us alongside some other really interesting experiments, so come and have a go. Very cool. And if you'd like to know more about the real experiment, detecting real axions, on which this experiment is based, head on over to Hamster Productions, where Josh has produced a great video about that experiment using LEGO. There's a link in the description below. This work was possible and done at Lancaster University's physics department. It's a really great place to build and do experiments. And if you're interested in studying physics, I really recommend you check out our website. And finally, thanks to the Science and Technology Facilities Council, the STFC, who fund this and lots of other great work. Thanks for watching. See you in London.